Hey guys, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix those auto shutdown or restart problems that you're facing within your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. Now, let's jump into it. So the first thing that you want to do, you need some valuable information first before we go about fixing this. Just simply click on the Windows icon here and type in system information and just simply open system information here and here on the system type you want to see what version you have and as you can see i have the 64 right so that's important to note before we get started in fixing the issue so i have a 64 bit pc here 64 base pc so no guys what you want to do is just simply go back click the windows icon again and type in reg and you will see register editor you want to go ahead and open that simply click yes to open the register editor and you want to close out all of these so that your register editor look just like this right now you want to ensure that you're under the local the hk local machine and you simply want to expand that then you want to ensure that you click on software then you want to simply look for microsoft and expand that and here you can see i have microsoft here so you want to expand that then you want to scroll down and look for windows once you find windows go ahead and expand that then once you expand windows just simple click on it right click on it and create a new key you want to call this new key windows update and just simple click enter then on the windows key you want to right click on it again and you want to create another new key and you want to rename this key and you want to call it au simple type in that and click enter now on this au folder you want to go ahead again and you simply want to right click and here on the new you want to select the option that says q word 64 bit right that's why we check our system information at first to see whichever bit we have and as you know we have the 64 bit so you simply want to click on this q word 64 bit and you want to rename this to the value that says no auto reboot with log on user i will put this within the description of this video now once you enter this just simply go ahead and click enter and you want to right click on this and you simply want to go ahead and modify it and you want to change the value to one now once you do this go ahead click on ok and you want to restart your computer and that's all there is to it guys now guys i really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful and if you do go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below i'd really appreciate that and if you've seen the channel for the first time welcome to drew tutorial i'm anjo and i really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community and also so that you'll never miss out when i release another helpful tutorial just like this one thank you very much and see you next time